From someone that's been in the market since 2017, there's a lot of things that I learned that I believe could help you guys in your journey on not just making a lot of money in crypto, but actually getting to pull those funds out. What is going on, guys? My name is Ro, and as of lately, I've been kind of making these more um, personal videos to kind of help you guys and guide you guys along some of the lessons that I learned, teach you guys some tips, some tricks, and not just always covering coins, right? So if you guys are enjoying these type of videos, let me know down below because I love making them. It's just a genuine heart to heart, and I appreciate everyone that's watching. Again, we just recently hit 5,000 subscribers. Couldn't be more grateful for that. Thank you to everyone watching. Thank you to God. Thank you, Jesus, for making it all possible. If you guys are fellow Christian brothers, you guys like faith. Uh, fitness crypto subscribe hit the bell notification and in today's video guys we're really just going to be breaking down some of the psychology that you need to have some of the biggest lessons that i learned and how to actually make money and keep it in this crypto space okay so if you're new subscribe hit the bell let's hop into today's video so to be completely honest with you guys don't really have um anything in the background to look at you know bitcoin right now we're back above sixty thousand dollars but um you know let me just make it more personal you know just have you guys here oh i'm lagging hopefully that goes away okay so guys i've been in the market since 2017 right I, i've talked to you guys about it all the time the first coin that i ever bought was actually xrp bro it was the worst coin that i could ever buy in 2017 i was in grade 12 and one of my friends were telling me about crypto and you know i, I downloaded coinbase because i was the first ever and one of the only platforms i was around at the time especially if you live in canada and i saw xrp and the reason i bought it is because listen i'm a newbie to crypto and i saw that it was like very affordable and to be completely honest with you guys i'm pretty sure that the price that i bought into at 2017 is higher than what the price of xrp is right now i just thought yo i'm in grade 12 i have like 50 bucks um and let me just buy it. Let me buy a token to make 500x, right? That was my mindset going into it. And if you, you know, the honest truth is I was financially illiterate, right? A lot of high school kids, they don't get the type of education that they need. Uh, it wasn't until I actually went to university that I realized where money comes from, how money works, stocks, assets, all that fun stuff. But that's how the mainstream, you know, high school kid thinks, right? And, you know, a lot of you guys, a lot of people that are in their 20s may not even have an understanding of what money is like too and how you know in traditional finance guys when you invest in the stock market you're making a 10 percent gain every year right if you're lucky if you invest in smp that's the average return and in crypto right in the four-year cycles if you get in and get out at the right time you're able to make not just a 10x not just a 100x you're able to make 500 to a thousand x plays in this bull market which is the honest truth about crypto but some of the things that i had to learn was that first of all you know, you're not able to do this alone. It's really good to get some type of help to look at other people, uh, get inspired by other people. Um, it's not good to do this alone because you guys need to understand how the markets work. The first thing you need to understand is the Bitcoin having. You need to understand how the cycles move, right? Because if you were to just, let's say, buy in at 2025 when everything is up, you're going to have to be holding for four years, right? It's going to take a really long time. Now, the honest truth is if you're just someone that invests in Bitcoin, you'll be great. You just have to hold it for four years and you know it's going to go up again. But you also need to understand there's something called the law of diminishing returns, which means that every bull market, the amount of multiples that you can make are drastically decreased. And I believe that, you know, this bull cycle that we're going to have is going to be one of the last bull markets to actually make some insane multipliers. Right. So in 2017 bought xrp didn't really know what i was doing i heard a lot of people say oh crypto is a bubble um didn't really understand it at all to be completely honest with you guys and just held kept adding i think i bought some um i think i bought bitcoin cash and ethereum or something like that and obviously they're not worth anything but it was just a fun time right just to buy and just to be be kind of um just because it was mainstream right crypto at the time was mainstream man you guys need to realize that one of the biggest things you can take away from this is that as soon as crypto becomes mainstream as soon as you guys hear it in your school as soon as you guys hear your teachers talking about it uh, it's on the news that might be a really good indication that the market top is in right and fast forward to 2021 right i made a lot of money in 2021 and the way i did that was by leveraging a lot of youtubers and that's why i'm here in 2024 to kind of guide you guys as well because you know shout out to bitboy he honestly helped me make a lot of money um in 2021 i listened to a lot of his videos you know before he went on this whole like you know psycho tangent whatever that that phase that he had he was genuinely a good dude like i liked listening to his videos he gave a lot of good information and it's all about the mentality right you, anyone that makes six figures or seven figures they're going to have ups and downs and even though 
crypto is one of the easiest asset classes to make a lot of money that doesn't mean you're not going to have ups and downs it doesn't mean that you're not going to have to be able to hold through um you know when your portfolio is looking dead right you still need to be able to hold it. some things that i learned in 2021 is that hey it's good to have um it's good to look up to youtubers it's good to get their information because we may not know where to start in terms of our research but should that be your end all be all no you listen to these youtubers then you go out and you do your own research and that's exactly what i preach on my channel as well okay um also you need to realize that um you know, if there is something that's wrong about your crypto, you need to make that decision. Don't wait for somebody to tell you to make that decision, right? In the same way that these people, um, they only care about themselves. They're going to tell you guys, hey, this is a good coin to buy, but they may not tell you when to sell it because a lot of people could be telling you, hey, this is a good coin to buy just so that you could be their exit liquidity. So you guys need to make your own game plan, your own exit strategy. When there's profits on the table that is actually going to change your life, do not listen to YouTubers that are going to call for a super cycle or Bitcoin going to 300,000. When you hear things like that, you usually want to go against the narrative, right? In the same way, when people start saying Bitcoin's going to zero, you, you typically want to do the opposite of what the mainstream media is saying. That's literally how it works, guys, okay? Whatever is a trending topic, whatever is a trending narrative, go against it. If you hear people saying crypto is over, that's probably a good time to buy. If you start hearing people say, oh my gosh, Bitcoin's not going to stop. The reasons, 10 reasons why Bitcoin's going to 200,000 this bull run, get out the markets. If you start screenshotting your portfolio, get out of the markets because those are life-changing gains for a lot of people. If you start hearing your mom talk about it, if you start hearing your co-workers talk about crypto, get out of the markets. There's a lot of lessons that I learned, a lot of hard truths that you need to be able to swallow and the key takeaway from this is that like youtubers are great okay listen to them um you know watch their videos take notes but at the same time do your own research and your own due diligence if you really want to be able to make money in this market and again the last tip would be after you've made those gains listen guys take profits because it's better like you're never going to kick yourself in the leg for taking profits early but you are going to beat yourself up if you ride your money all the way to the top and all the way back down that's something I did and I the, part of my portfolio that happened to in 2021, right? I wrote it all the way up and I wrote it all the way down. You don't want to be stuck in that same boat. Okay, don't listen to other people and what YouTubers are calling for because honestly, I was hearing, oh, this is going to be a super cycle. Bitcoin's going to 100K. Bitcoin's going to do this. Bitcoin's going to do that. Listen, all you need to realize is that after every Bitcoin having, it's about 500 to 550 days after is when the top comes in. Take pay close attention to the fear and greed index. Listen, it's not just about getting into these markets. It's also about getting out. And I want you guys to be able to pull your profits when money is there. At the end of the day, guys, it's just like we're in a Roman Coliseum. OK, it's not you and everyone else is there to support you. No, no, no. It's you versus everybody else, because I'm telling you, if anyone had the opportunity to, um, throw you under the bus and take profits, they are going to do that, okay? So don't think that everyone, uh, you know, every person that's holding your coin, they want you guys to succeed. Maybe they do, but the reality of it is, is that won't happen, okay? It's you versus everybody else. That's just the sad and honest truth. So again, there's a lot of indicators that you guys need to look at when it comes to when should I take my money out? And I think that's the hardest thing that a lot of people tend to deal with. Um, so again, focus on the technicals focus on the fundamentals focus on you know the economy as a whole when you start hearing people call for a higher bitcoin a super cycle when you start screenshotting your portfolio when you start seeing bitcoin um stuff about bitcoin on like your social media posts right on instagram it's probably a good indication to get out of the markets when you hear your grandmother talking about bitcoin probably a good indication to get out of the markets look guys at the end of the day if you don't pull profits at the, they're just unrealized gains okay you don't want it to be unrealized. You want to realize them so you can live your best life. Because yes, what we're doing is we're getting into crypto because we believe in it. But I'm si like similar to myself, a lot of you guys also want to be able to make a lot of money to enjoy your life. And there's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, don't get attached to your money because the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not money. It's the love of money. Okay, put something else bigger than, you know, materialistic things first. For me, 
it's God. God will always be first. He will always be the supplier. And when you seek first the kingdom of God, everything else will be added. So guys, don't focus on materialistic things. Yes, these things are great to have. And I'm not saying don't work hard for them because God wants you to work hard as well, okay? But remember, at the end of the day, it's all about your mentality. Do not become a slave to these things. Make these things a slave to you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been your boy, Ro. God bless you guys and peace out. Take care, guys.